Hey everybody, welcome back to... <sighs> Sorry, Rattle King Guitar Restorations. I forgot where I was. It's been a while since I've been here. Uh, I am James, and uh, this is what we technically call cheating. Um, but we're going to do it like this anyways. All my other video cameras... Or, or over at the, the house um, so you know there's this thing going on in my life called Mrs. Rattlekins called Mrs. Rattlekins house and uh, so I've been kind of putting off work um, putting off doing things um, just because I'm trying to get that done and a buddy of mine gives me a call and he says, Hey, I've got a, I have an instrument. It's a small instrument. Um, but uh, can you take a look at it? Uh, and I'm like, you know, I'm super busy right now. I'm sure we could figure out a time to look at it. Just let me kind of get past this hump. And he says, well, I'm, I'm just afraid the, I'm afraid the cat's going to destroy it. And I go, well, this is interesting. Your cat's going to destroy this. So, you know, I'm a sucker. I tell him to go ahead and, and, and bring it over. He says it's just has some alignment issues on it and, and, uh, uh, and it probably won't take very long. He said he was sure that the, you know, that whatever it was was probably not a, a really a big deal. So he, uh, he brings it over and, um, let me hold on. I gotta, I gotta switch the camera here. So. This is what he, actually this isn't what he brings me. So his small problem was this. <sighs> so, you know, in, in typical rattle can fashion, I look at it and I go, well, you know, there's, uh, I think there's some potential here. Uh, I gave it a cursory glance and uh, I'm pretty sure that the neck angle is off a bit. Um, it appears that the uh, the bridge is missing. Perhaps there's a uh, uh, some remnant of it left on the uh, the soundboard, and uh, we also have some. Uh, sorry, that'll help you give it some scale. Um, and there's also a problem with the tailpiece. So, uh, I decided that I could probably work some rattle can magic. Oh, I fixed the neck angle. Well, almost. There we go. Okay, I think I fixed the neck angle. I may actually have a <laughs> sliver of ebony with which I can craft a bridge out of this with. Uh, I don't think reaffixing the tailpiece is going to be problem. Uh, I am sad to see that this is a, you know, they almost got this right, because this is supposed to be a buzuki, I think is what they call it. It's like a Greek mandolin. And unfortunately, they only have uh, half the number of strings on it. Um, it's, you know, a, a fairly open-grained wood. Uh, oh, it's made in the Filipinos. And uh, so I'm not exactly sure what type of wood this is. I, I just don't, I mean, it's in, you know, it's in fairly solid condition, solid being the operative word. And uh, this is the kind of stuff that, uh, that you, you try to come up with when you're really, really, really tired. And there's a video that's supposed to come out in the morning. So we're just we're just trying to have a little fun. Uh, I'm I'm trying to get back to the shop as quick as I can. Uh, I am working anywhere between 12 and 14 hour days, six days a week. Um, Sunday I go do my thing at church, and well, that's working from 7:30 to noon. And then we did a shut your hole. No, the other one. Oh my gosh. Anybody want a cat? Shut up. 
uh, and then we did a video shoot the other day. Hopefully that's going to come out and be public. Um, you'll see. Come here. Come here. Hey. Hey. Stop. Come here. Come here. Here, we'll get him. If nothing else on this video, you'll get to see Reptar. Come here, Goofy. Oh, I bet he looks huge, doesn't he? Say hi, Reptar. Over here. There you go. So, anyways, we're trying to get the trying to get the other place done. I have the basement wired. Lights and power. I have probably a third of the upstairs outlets wired. And now, uh, yeah, we got to get got to get that done. Um, so we're we're plugging along, but it's it's a one man show. And there's really only so much I can do. So uh, again, uh, you know, just trying to have a little fun and and asking you guys to kind of hang on because um, uh, the big push is getting this um, this electric done. Uh, because once we get the electric done, we're actually getting bids in for insulation in, and they will be taking care of that. Um, hopefully, they will be insulating. I'm hope I'm planning on maybe the first week in January. We'll have to see how the how the schedule works. I only have to get the HVAC installed, the electric done, the air sealing done, um, the venting done for the three exhaust fans, uh, four exhaust fans. I have to get a hinged automated cover built for the whole house fan. Uh, have to get a platform built for Mrs. Rattlecan to store crap that we're never going to actually want to get out of the attic, but we, we want a really nice platform for it to sit on. Um, so anyways, that is what's going on. Um, and I, I actually will film me making this ebony bridge. It's just not going to happen tonight because, oh, well, the temperature drop is supposed to be like 23 tomorrow. So the shop's a little chilly. Anyways, uh, I'm James, and uh, this is Reptar, and uh, you guys have a great weekend. Cheers. Say bye. Over here. All right, go away. Go on. Go away. Fine, you do the show. Hey, if you like this episode of Rattle Can Guitar Restorations, you might want to check this video out as well. Be sure to subscribe to us on YouTube, and if you'd like to help the channel grow, consider stepping over to our Patreon page and giving that a look. Y'all have a good weekend. Cheers.